What's going on everyone? You're watching Channel 89. I'm The Twiz, and today we're going to talk about the movie Color Out of Space, which was just released last weekend to the public, and it's the first feature film by writer-director Richard Stanley after his last endeavor back in 1992, which was called Dust Devil. The director was attached to a project in 1996 called The Island of Dr. Moreau, starring Marlon Brando, but he actually notoriously got fired from that movie and hasn't done a narrative feature film since. Over 25 years later, we now see the South African native get back on his horse with a feature film adaptation of the 1927 H.P. Lovecraft short story of the same name. Color Out of Space follows Nathan Gardner as he and his family's farmhouse gets abducted by aliens, but not the kind that pop culture has kind of put into our heads over the years. These aliens possess an intangibly abstract quality that surpasses all human understanding, and that's really touched upon in this movie a lot, in the sense that not, even it's hard for us as the audience to understand what's really happening. The characters don't really get how these aliens are overtaking their lives and as, us as the audience is kind of seeing it as an abstract portrayal as well. Nathan is played by Nicolas Cage who actually reaches his trademark ties so often that it almost borders on self-parody at times and I found myself laughing out loud <laughs> quite a few times. Nathan and the other characters in this film don't really match up with each other, almost like each of them are from their own film universe entirely. Visually, this movie is kind of an acid trip filled with vivid colors and a bizarre tone that's almost un-Hollywood in the most intentional way. I will say the way Stanley paces his narrative is so consistent, it's almost like you're reading words off a page. And while seldom giving us anything actually scary, the director has a knack for building suspense and tension to where it truly doesn't matter. Color Out of Space won't be everyone's cup of tea, as Stanley often deviates from the typical Hollywood formula that we come to expect, for better or worse, but it's also not really his fault that we've come to expect it over this time. But Stanley also never truly commits to being experimental either, which might turn off certain audience members. We almost wish that this grand concept was more familiarly executed and that there were more succinct steps and stages in the character's discovery of these aliens. Instead, it plays off as one of those movies that you hope will make sense in the end because it's so confusing, but ultimately it never really does and it's kind of frustrating. We're never spoon-fed an explanation, but also never really get one at all. By the end of this incoherent madness, the only thing that makes sense is that it doesn't make any sense. And if you can be content with that, then you might end up liking this movie. Because it's not until you realize that that's the point Stanley's going for that you can truly be content with the end result. I give Color Out of Space a 72 out of 100. For a more detailed breakdown, see down below. And if you enjoyed this video, like it and consider subscribing. And I'll see you next time right here on Channel 89. Until then, don't touch that dial.